ti dirò la verità. Sì, io sarò. Welcome back from Club Philadelphia. We just finished watching Roma Vitez. Uh, 90 minutes, no shots on goal until the 91st minute. Tammy. Tammy time. 21. 21 goals on the season for our boy Tammy. But I think we have a lot to talk about. No, well, I was about the, to say. The previous 90 minutes. <laughs> this past Sunday against Udinese oh. was the first time I never exalted or cheered over a Roma goal in my entire life. We barely celebrated this one tonight. Yeah. I was texting with my father at this rate, why do we even continue? No. It was the worst. I thought the 90 minutes against Udinese was the worst football I've seen definitely this year, probably in the last three years. Uh. But we may have uh, equaled that tonight. What happened to the team that beat Atalanta twice? That's what I was just thinking. I was thinking, like, since Atalanta, we've played Vitesse twice, twice, right? Udinese. All three of those games were, like... Easily the worst of the season, second worst of the season, yeah. third worst of the Carbon season. Carbon copy, boring, no shots, no offense, mm. no midfield. Thank God there's a defense. The defense is finally... Time. They were not here the first half no. of the season, but... Fortunately, they've showed up. I, I can't put my head around it because we finally had some momentum. Finally, the referees are leaving us alone. And then this, tonight, what, what, what the fuck was it? Like, what, What's going on? We slept until they scored. Yeah. No. Which you, I was half you knew, you, expecting. You knew that they were going to turn it on as soon as Vitesse scored. But why like did they, we do that? I, we, this I, is a team that really Solidnitana would beat yeah. them. You know? Yeah. A decent team in Serie B would yeah. beat Vitesse without a problem. I can't explain it. I know maybe you guys want to hear what we have to say. I honestly don't have an explanation. You can't say it's because we're missing a Regista or Spinazzola's hurt. This is... No, it's a good team on the field. You can't. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no. Can, well, considering the players we have, that's the best one. The yeah, best Mancini best was best out, best. which isn't. Yeah. There's really no excuses. Yeah. We haven't heard what uh, Jose is going to say or what the players are going to say, but I can't, I can't understand the performance. I can't understand Sunday's performance, and I can't understand last Thursday's performance. But that one, maybe you know, the pitch was in bad condition. But there was a lot of slipping going on. But I think what, after these last two games, you can't even use that excuse. I mean, I don't know what's going on with the direct kicks. Oh, up, over, left. Right, nothing on net. I mean, but we're not we're not creating plays. We can't one, you know. Ideally, you want to play one two touch football, yeah. but we're not Manchester City. Okay, but we're playing four five touch football and then passing the ball backwards. Mm. Have you seen one play that can even be called a play? There's nothing. I mean, there's no ideas. Players are not moving without the ball. No, we were talking there's about no, there's no structure. No, there you go. Structure was the word I was from. Zero at all. I mean, yeah. we don't build from the bottom like Fonseca tried to and failed at doing. Yeah. We don't have anyone in the midfield, we know, but Veretu, Cristanta, last year they were doing something. The ball was moving. There's no movement without the ball, and we talked I, about this last week. I was week. definitely looking forward to today because I saw Mkhitaryan and Pellegrini, and I was like, oh, I was like, this. so maybe we'll be back mm -hmm. to a, a normal sort of blowing off it's not the last two games that we saw but I mean, remember we won our first six games of the year and there there was some kind of play we didn't win them all by luck what yeah so again we well, i really no, want to hear what we're, our we're, we're tying machines now <laughs> that's like our fifth tie in seven games or something like that i mean I i'm sure we needed to go ahead and we did so mission accomplished but there's no no satisfaction in this at all I mean, well, you were telling me this. We have, a, we have momentum. We have momentum now, You're right? Uh, maybe the players were saving themselves for the derby, and that's why we weren't yeah. running. So that's good. But we had momentum after Atalanta, and then we strung together three shit performances. You mentioned this after the uh, first leg in Vita in Arnhem. Pellegrini had said after Udinese yeah. they couldn't uh, sustain. Two games in the week. What right. What are your thoughts? Well, no, yeah, Pellegrini said. Pellegrini, that, our captain, that, that, that makes four million a year. Yes, uh, net. Play, net. Playing a Sunday game after a Thursday game is very difficult and tiring. 
So I, as a professional, that who wants to play at a Champions League level. If we were playing I Thursday mean, and Sunday, I could understand we probably couldn't walk on Sunday. Yeah. We're not professional athletes. No. We're firmly in our 40s. And what could, from the captain says you can't do two games of, Return some of the uh, money we paid you then, yeah, pal. No. And I look, I love Pellegrini. This is, I'm just, me so sfogando. I'm just letting it out right yeah. now. But uh, it's. I was worried. I mean, I told Pete, I'm, I'm worried about next Thursday, too. If, if you know, playing for the Azuri, Pellegrini is going to go out there, is, is he going to be tired? You know? <laughs> well, if you can't do two, two games a week. But right. um, there's really little to say about this particular match. We didn't play, we got a lucky goal in the end. I feel but, like I feel like, like I said, it's a carbon copy of Udinese. Yeah, no, no, it's exactly. Uh, we only score in the 90th minute, which is usually a good sign. Right. But even with, but that was a PK, so even luckier. I mean, this was <laughs> at least this was a play, right? This wasn't uh, a lucky call that led yeah. to a PK. You know, this we, we were the, putting these pressure. These were guys fighting, which is on the bright side. If this was Fonseca's team, these guys would have folded, and we would have lost the game. Yeah. Right, so this is the I think this is the big difference between Mourinho's squad and last season and the season before previous seasons is that these guys keep fighting till the end. We not might not win, but we're tied. We're tied, and uh, <laughs> I think this is our sixth time we've scored in the yeah. stoppage time or in the ninetieth. Yeah, but I was looking at the uh, scores. Leicester went through, Marseille went through, Feyenoord went through. I think everyone. Bodo Glimp went through. Those are all the teams I think that everyone sort of expected to go through. Yeah, I mean. I think if, if Rome didn't make it through, they would. Take wouldn't. another six from Bodo playing like this. Yeah. No. We, we don't know which team is going to show up, but let's. Uh, to hear us stop complaining, let's talk about the Derby. Yeah, what, what are the keys for you? Derby. Well. You know, I'd like to say the home crowd, but we sold the best, out the stadium every I think, I think, game. I think our best player that's been our best player all season, Mr. Uh, Rui Patricio, he's got to be a top, top game. He's got to have his best game of the season, which is, you know, he's been having great games. Maybe one or two games off here or there, right? I mean, he's made a couple mistakes. A couple mistakes, but, but you know, pretty solid. So he's got to be on top. I think uh, Smalling, Mancini in the back. So you're, look, you're looking all defensively. Yeah, no. You know, one thing that bothers me is Lazio jumped ahead of us in the table. Mm. So being the home team, being behind them by a point, it's incumbent on us to go forward and score. And that's something we really, really, really struggle with. Yeah. I would have been more comfortable playing in this posture of the Atalanta game where... They wanted the three points and were coming forward, and we hit them on the uh, counter, which is how we scored in both games and ended up winning. But it's such a, a limelight game, such a spotlight. Uh, you, you know, Zaniolo, I mean, the last two games looks like... No, he was he, booed when he got off the field. Did you hear that? Dragging, dragging his feet. I don't think Sunday he'll be dragging his feet. I don't think Pel, I think Pellegrini... I think everyone... I mean, same, same could be said for Lazio. I think everyone's game gets raised up. But when Zaniolo raises his game, he gets onto another level, right? Yeah. Well, and Tammy too. I mean, Tammy. I think. He, yeah, Tammy. He, he, well, he's he gonna, saved us again tonight. Yeah. I mean, he so, didn't have any ball. He had one ball, one goal, really. I mean, he had a shot from like midfield, but that's not. But we but, know, we know what's going to be in the forward. What would you like to see in the midfield for that game? I would like to see the defense <laughs> completely bypass the midfield and just boot it up front for uh, Nico and Tammy. The midfield is what it is. I didn't think Veretout was terrible today. I mean, no, he was terrible. He was less terrible than everyone else, maybe. You want to see Niles out there? No. no, absolutely not. I'd like to see El Shirawi on uh, wide left, and I'd like to see Karsdorp wide right. I'd like to see Mickey Pellegrini. And I guess Cristante in the middle, even though I'd really consider uh, better too. You know what? I think the way El Shirawi has been playing over the last couple games. Well, he gave us some life tonight too. Yeah. Not much, well, but think some that, life. You know, usually I think I, I definitely think that he's great off the bench, but I think this is a game that maybe you need that energy to start with. I, I agree. We need energy. We need experience. I mean, Vina. I think there's a quality level. Um, Zaleski's very, very young. You don't want to, um, 
throw him in the fire in the derby and risk uh, ruining him. But, you know, one thing that I think does play in our favor is uh, Sarri. He's never one to just sit back and absorb pressure. So Lazio will, well, I'm assuming they'll try to play. But, you know, maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. But, you know, Gasparini could have sat back too a little bit yeah. with us. He didn't. You know, Fonseca was the same way. He, he wanted to control the game. And that leads to mistakes. So hopefully Mourinho will be more furbo, you know, more uh, tricky, intelligent. And that gets us the win. But uh, I'll tell you what, man, it's been some ugly football these last couple of weeks. So I think we're due for some nice football. Okay, I, <laughs> I, I will temper that by saying we are going to win, but we will not see nice football. <laughs> but we have, we have some more important stuff to talk about because we're going to... Well, one, you're not going to be here. You're I, leaving I us. I will not be here. I will be at the Derby. So We will have our live correspondent. Yeah. But uh, those of us that are left behind, uh, we're having a little get-together. Get-together. We're going to yeah. have some, some uh, treats. Let's show, let's show the swag. What do we got here? So, we're going to have a raffle. A big raffle raise. Raise some funds, pay UTR. And we, we got some real stuff in here. Yeah, we got some good stuff here. First, we have uh, Jameson's jersey from two years ago. Jameson, Jameson say goodbye to it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's considered abandoned now, pal. This is our, this is our five year anniversary jersey. With people it's really, really, uh, like really nice stuff. This is our original shirt from 2014. Catifa Roma. Non perde mai. Yeah, there we go. Rome supporters never lose. Oh, and then it we should have, be added, we rarely win, but... <laughs> we have a, so a bunch of replica shirts from very vintage, bought outside the stadium. 95, 96. We're, we're going over 20 years ago. This is 95, 96. Who's that? Uh, Cap the Eternal Cap Captain. Yeah. Just solo. Good stuff. Oh, no. All right. Now we have some nice scarves. Now this, this is... Uh, I, I might win this in the raffle myself. Yeah, I guess it's very cool. Look at that. That is good stuff. <laughs> you know, what, what are the raffles? It's uh, $5 a ticket, mm -hmm. 3 for 10 10 for 20 You know, uh, get a nice uh, gift for yourself, we have for a loved uh, one. 2019. Well, this is the authentic this Nike, is authentic and uh, Nike. the club sent us to this yeah. to raffle off, guys. So look. So we have this, and we have a couple other things. So come on. This was the uh, last jersey Grand that Cafe. Aussie uh, wore, last Roma jersey he ever wore. DDR, yeah. Yeah. So we got some uh, good stuff there. La Magica. But guys, please come out. Unfortunately, this is a game that makes or breaks our season. You know, we've unfortunately gone back in time a little bit where this is our uh, biggest game. But it's a derby. I, I have a question, though. What's up? Club or country? Club, for me. So. But do you, oh yeah, come on. We, have, we can have a few minutes. No, no, Listen to this, folks. <laughs> Listen to this. Flying to Rome for the Derby, and then what are you doing? World Club playoff. Italy versus Macedonia. Just a very this could, smooth this, this could 18 be, to 24 hour drive to this Palermo. Could be, this could be potentially the most depressing week of my life. Potentially. <laughs> Either the, one of the best or one of the worst. But somewhere in the middle, but it could be good. Re represent us all both at the Olympic Stadium. Club and country. And the Arenzo Barbera and my Palermo. Forza Roma, Forza, Roma Forza Italia, Lazio Merda, dai! All right. All right.